Yep, that's me, sitting there with a bow in my hand and a big buck at five yards. You're probably wondering how I got into this situation. To explain that, let's go back a little bit. So Jake and Nick landed permission on this property a couple of days prior. After doing that, they found a pile of bucks. Cole and myself then jumped in to hunt the piece with them. On our first afternoon, we dove into the opposite side of the property and also got eyes on a lot of different bucks. After watching several bucks come out of the same slough the night before, Cole and myself came up with a game plan of how to move in a little bit closer. And that brings us to the day when this video was filmed, September 9th. So let's dive into it. Cole and I are heading in for the last hunt of this trip. It's September 9th. We've hunted for nine days straight. Just haven't quite gotten an opportunity that we're looking for. So we've been on bucks for the last two or three days here, hunting this property with Jake and Nick. They're about 600 yards to the west of us going in there to set up where they saw a bunch of bucks last night. Me and Cole are going to head in here where we saw bucks last night. See if we can get in here from a little bit different angle, get a little bit closer to these deer. We didn't watch this portion of the slough this morning, but we got a good feeling that there's going to be a buck in here. They were wanting to get over to where these guys were combining last night. So maybe they'll want to bed in this slough to be a little bit closer. We got pretty good wind cover this afternoon. It's blowing out of the northeast, so we're gonna get in here where we can see down into the slough and hopefully get eyes on a buck, make a move on them. But we grabbed those rocks because there's a couple different pockets of cattails up here on our way in to where we wanna be, so we can kind of throw them in there wherever we think there might be a buck land, see if it gets up without us having to run them over. Cole's back there picking up some more rocks. We're gonna get to walking in here and hope for some last day luck. This is the cattail slough that we have to go through to get to where the main slough that we had last night. So we got pockets full of rocks. We're gonna chuck them in there and see if anything stands up. some steaks. <laughs> Looks like he had a funky rack. One side was way bigger than the other. Cole and I are 
are slipping up here to this slough. We're about 100 yards from it right now. I was glassing down through there and I spotted a buck standing there looking at us. He had us pegged. By the time I saw him, he stuck off over the hill over there. We saw like four bucks in here last night, so there's a chance that some of those are in here. Too bad we bumped that one.
steps and staying in the exact spot for that amount of time to live <laughs> i was like all right when he jumps his fence i'm gonna draw and he jumped it went through a little gap but he was like ba boom ba boom and then he stopped and he was right behind this bush which i four weeds yeah you know, i didn't weeds. even i didn't knock it down because i thought well i can maybe can draw behind that and i held it for five or six minutes Wow. As as with I the could, broken thumb <laughs> as long as i could possibly hold it i had my thumb back here and like trying to hold it so then i let down he didn't catch that well he stood there for another five minutes probably and then he starts walking like straight at us was he yeah. looking at you most of the time or was he no he yeah, wasn't no at idea first we there. okay and then but i could i was like thinking about drawing but i could see his eyeball yeah. through the bush so i was like i can't because he's walking straight at us yeah and there was one point where he like turned and licked himself a little bit for just like a real quick second and Cole was like draw I just it was like so fast he leaned back licked himself and I really didn't think I could get drawn there but I mean maybe I could have drawn there mm -hmm. my thought was just that he could draw there and then he'd see him but he'd poke his head up and he's at five yards so you could yeah. stick him right yeah. there but it was not an easy night to be hunting on the ground with minimal cover no, it was uh -uh. so dead quiet yeah and he was so close to us but a good one though. Oh, uh, cold this one with the brow tines like this. Is he? Yeah. Oh, it's He's that eight point. Big. <gasps> yeah, it's that. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go watch the footage. Yep. How are the boys well. doing, Nick? How's the, how's the game up there? Uh, the horns are up 27-24 with 11 minutes left in the fourth quarter. After having such a close call with that buck, Cole and I decided to stay for two more days while Jake and Nick moved along to the next state. We're gonna slip up this slough right here. We got kind of a northwest wind right now. Those dead trees over there is where Jake and Nick have been seeing bucks come out. They've also been seeing them come out of this slough, but it seems like the biggest ones are coming out over by those trees. Get out there where we can get in and get set up. I'm surprised that didn't happen sooner, really. Definitely went out of the shot. Over the course of those next two days, we found ourselves back in the action. Yet again, we were close, but no cigar. Well, that's gonna do it for this first trip of the deer tour. We're going home with two tags that have been unfilled, but we got some good news from Jake and Nick who went to the next state a couple days ago. 
they got to buck down tonight. So we got that coming next. Cole and I just packed up the car. It's like 10 o'clock at night and we're gonna start making some headway down the road tonight. We've been talking about all the close calls that we've had here over the last couple weeks. I mean, it's been an absolute blast. I mean, we've been on bucks nonstop pretty much since we got here. We just never were able to actually get one killed. We got really close several times and never could quite seal the deal. So we will probably be back here at some point during the fall to try it again. We're gonna pack the rest of the stuff in the car and start heading down the road, but appreciate you guys following along for this first trip of the deer tour. We'll see you guys on the next one. Holy cow, dude. So you don't work that down and cut up or what? Or just stay low down here. See those tracks? Are you on them? You see them? Yeah, dude, he's right here. Make sure you hear me. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Dude. Dude. Oh, what a freaking slob, dude. What a freaking slob. Like Jake pulled up and he literally said, like from here we're at that wave freaking tree over there. He's like giant freaking buck.